Chapter 5, Lesson 3, DNA and Genetics. The structure of DNA. How you ha, Have you ever put together a toy or game for a child? If so, it probably came with directions. Cells put molecules together in much the same way you might assemble a toy. They follow a set of directions. Genes provide directions for cells to assemble molecules that express traits such as eye color and sheet shape. Recall from lesson 2 that a gene in the selection of a chromosome. Chromosomes are made of proteins and deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA. An organism's genetic material, a gene, is a segment of DNA on a chromosome. Cells, organisms, cells and organisms contain millions of different molecules, countless numbers of directions, and needed to make all those molecules. How do, you, how do all these directions fit on a few chromosomes? The information or directions need for an organism to grow, maintain itself, and reproduce is contained in DNA. As shown in figure 12, strands, strands of DNA in a chromosome are tightly co coiled, like a telephone cord or a coiled spring. This coiling allows more genes to fit in a small space. <coughs> a complex molecule. What's the best way to fold the clothes so they will fit into a drawer or a suitcase? Scientists ask a similar question about DNA. What is the shape of DNA molecule and how does it fit in a chromosome? The work of several several scientists revealed that di DNA is a twisted zipper. This twisted zipper shape is called a double helix. A model of DNA's double helix structure is below is shown in f figure 13. How do scientists make sure to make the discovery? Rosalind Franklin and Maury Wilkins were two scientists in London who used X-rays to study DNA. Some of these ex some of the X-ray data indicated that DNA has a helix shape. American scientist James Watson vi visited Franklin and Wilkins and saw one of the DNA. Uh, ray x-rays watson realized that the x-rays give valuable clues about dna structure watson um, worked with an english scientist francis francis crick to build a model of dna watson and crick began based on their work on information f from Wink franklin's and winkins x-rays they also used chemical information about dna discovered by another scientist erwin chagraf after several tries, Watson Craig Crick built a model that showed how the sm smaller molecules of DNA band bond together and form a double helix. Four nucleotides shape DNA. DNA's twisted zipper shape is because of molecules called nucleotides. A nucleotide is a ma molecule made of nitrogen base, a sugar, and a phosphate group. Um, sugar phosphate groups from the, one, the side of the DNA zipper, the nitrogen bases bond and from the teeth of the zipper. As uh, shown in figure 13, there are four nitrogen bases. Adenine, cytosine, thymine, and guanine. A and T always bond together, and C and G always bond together. How DNA replicates... Cells contain DNA and chromosomes, so every time a cell divides, all chromosomes must be copied from the new cell. The new DNA is identical to exist DNA. The process of copywriting of a DNA molecule to make another DNA molecule is called replication. You can follow the steps of DNA replication in figure 14. First, the strands separate in many places, exposing individual bases. The nucleotides are added in to each exposed base. This produces two identical strands of DNA. Making proteins. Recall that proteins are important for each every cellular process. The DNA of each cell carries a complete set of genes that provides instructions for making all the proteins a cell requires. Most genes contain instructions for making most genes um, um, for making proteins. Some genes contain instructions for when, how quickly proteins are made. 
junk DNA. As you have learned, all genes are segments of DNA on a chromosome. However, you might have been surprised to learn that most of your DNA is not part of any gene. For example, about 97% of the DNA on human chromosomes does not form genes. Segments of DNA that are not pairs of genes are often called junk DNA. It is not yet known whatever call what often are called called junk DNA. It is not yet known whether junk DNA segments have functions that are important to cells. The role of RNA in making proteins. Um, how does a cell use the instructions in a gene to make proteins? Proteins are made with the help of ribonucleic acid, RNA, a type of nucleic acid that. Um, that carries the code of, for making proteins from the nucleus to the cytoplasm. RNA also carries amino acids um, around inside a cell and forms a part of ribosomes. RNA and like DNA um, are, is made of nucleotides. However, um, the, there are key differences between DNA and RNA. DNA is double-stranded, but RNA is single-stranded. RNA has the nitrogen-based uracil U instead of thymine T and the sugar ribose instead of deoxyribose. The first step in making protein is to make our mRNA from DNA. The process of making mRNA from DNA is called transcription. Shows how mRNA is transcribed from DNA. How DNA replicates. Cells contain DNA and chromosomes. So every time a cell divides, the chromosomes must be copied for the new cell. The new DNA is identical to existing DNA. The process of copying a DNA molecule is making another DNA molecule is called replication. The strands separate in many places, exposing individual bases. Then nucleotides are added to each exposed base. This procedure is two identical strands of DNA. Three strands of RNA. On the previous page, you read about messenger RNA. There are two other RNA: transfer RNA and ribion, ribosome RNA. Figure 16 illustrates how the three work together to make proteins. The process of making the protein from RNA is called translation. Translation occurs in ribosomes. Recall that ribosomes are cell organelles that are attached to the rough endoplasmic and reticulum. Rough ER. Ribosomes are also in a cell's cytoplasm, trans translating the RNA code. Making protein from mRNA is like using a secret code. Proteins are made of amino acids. The order of the nitrogen bases in mRNA determines in the order of the amino acids in protein. Three nitrogen bases on mRNA form the codes for one amino acid. Each series of three nitrogen bases on mRNA is called codon. There are 64 codons, but um, only 20 amino acids. Some of the codons code for the same amino acid. One of the codons codes for an amino acid that is the beginning of a protein. This codon signals that translation should start. Three of the codons do not code for any amino acid. Instead, they could code for the end of the protein. They signal that translation will stop. Mutations. You have read in that the sequence of nitrogen bases in DNA determines the sequence of nitrogen bases in our mRNA. And the mRNA sequence determines the sequence of amino acids in a protein. You might think these sequences always stay in the same, but they can change. A change in the nucleotide sequence of a gene is called mutation. The 46 chromosomes contain between 20,000 and 25,000 genes that are copied during DNA replication. Sometimes mistakes can happen during replication. Um, most mistakes are correlated because before replication is completed. A mistake that is not correlated 
can call, result in a mutation. Mutations can be triggered by exposure to x-rays, ultraviolet light, radioactive material, and some kind of chemicals. Um, type of mutations. There are several types of DNA mutations. Three types are shown in fi- figure 17. In direction of mutations, one or more inter- nitrogen bases are left out of a DNA se- sequence in an intersect. Insertion mutation, one of our most nitrogen bases are added to DNA. In substitution mutation, one nitrogen base is replaced by a different nu- nitrogen base. Each type of mutation changes the sequence of nitrogen body pairs. They can cause a mutated gene code for a different protein than a normal gene. Some mutated genes do not code for any the, any protein. For example, a cell might lose the ability to make one of the proteins it needs. It. <sighs> Results in a mutation. The effect of mutation depends on with, where in the DNA sequence the mutation happens and the type of mutation proteins expert traits. Because mutations can cause proteins, they can cause traits to change. Some mutations in human DNA cause genetic disorders, such as those described in Table 4. However, not all mutations have negative effects. Some mutations does not, doesn't co- don't cause changes in proteins, so they don't affect traits. Other mutations might cause a trait in change in a way that bef- benefits the organism. Um, scientists still have to learn more about genes and how they determine an organism traits. Scientists are researching and experimenting to identify all genes that cause specific traits. With this knowledge, we might be one step closer to finding cures and treatments for genetic disorders.